I'm going to give you the secret to my martial arts style, the secret to my success in martial arts and pretty much to everything I've gotten in life at this point and hopefully more things that are to come. Where the kicks at? Where the pains? Where the holes? Where the throws? You know what I'm saying? Okay, this secret is, I think it's thousands of years old now. And it's definitely hundreds of years old now. And it comes from an ancient text called the Bible. It starts in the book of Luke, chapter 6, verse 27. And I think it goes up to verse 38. But let's read Luke 6, 27 through verse 38. This is the secret. I'm serious about this. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Whoever hits you on the cheek, offer him the other also. And whoever takes away your coat, do not withhold your shirt from him either. Give to everyone who asks of you, and whoever takes away what is yours, do not demand it back. Treat others the same way you want them to treat you. If you love those who love you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners love those who love them. If you do good to those who do good to you, what credit is that to you? For even sinners do the same. If you lend to, to those from whom you expect to receive, what credit is that to you? Even sinners lend to those lend to sinners in order to receive back the same amount. But love your enemies and do good and lend, expecting nothing in return. And your reward will be great and you will be sons of the Most High. For he himself is kind to ungrateful and evil men. Be merciful just as your father is merciful. Do not judge and you will not be judged. And do not condemn and you will not be condemned. Pardon and you will be pardoned. Give and it will be given to you. They will pour into your lap a good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over. For by the, your standard of measure, it will be measured to you in return. Now, I don't want you to think that I have this down perfectly because I most certainly do not. And I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means. But I can honestly say that this, a lot of people call this the golden rule. The degree to which I have been able to follow this, when I follow the golden rule, I give, I get back. Even if I don't get back, at the point where I'm giving, it always comes back some type of way. It happens monetarily, and it really, truly happens in terms of the knowledge that you give in the martial arts. I have been able to receive so much because at one point I gave so much. Now, I didn't give looking to get. That's not it. I just gave what I had. I felt like I didn't have much, but I felt like it was my turn to give, especially because one of my teachers confronted me and told me, it's your turn to give. So I said, all right, I guess it's my turn to give. So I gave the little bit I had, and then that enabled me to get more. And then I gave the more, and that enabled me to get more. And then I give of more, and then it enables me to get more. And pretty soon, I started learning about things that I never even thought I would get to learn about. And it's been amazing. So I'm telling you, man, the turning of the cheek stuff, it, it literally turning the other cheek reminds me of slipping. If somebody tries to hit you on this cheek, if you turn the other cheek while they're hitting this one, you're slipping. You take that literally, somebody gives you a push when they're trying to push you instead of trying to push back, you receive the push. Can't you redirect that into a forward throw? Right? Somebody tries to punch you. Can't you deflect that back and de-escalate a conflict? You know, the golden rule. Study it. Look at it. Think of all types of ways that you can apply it. Because I'm telling you. And this happened to me. This is something that happened to me one time. This was years. I wasn't even practicing actively. I remember one time somebody hit me. And I think I just knew he had a bad day. So I just looked. I said, man, what is your problem? 
Not being rattled by being struck scared him far more than if I had put my hands on him. Okay? So I'm not telling you if somebody comes at you in a dark alley, you stand there and try to iron body it. Even though iron body training does kind of remind me of the golden rule too. Iron shirt stuff. It's hard for me to explain it any more than this without making this a three hour long, six hour long video. The golden rule works in life. The golden rule definitely works in the martial arts. Especially if you feel like and then you're at the instructor level, you feel like you've hit a point and you don't think you can get beyond anymore, start giving. And eventually, the world just, it just makes a way for you to start learning more and receiving. So thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share this with people that talk, talk, talk about the martial arts. And peace.